Hello and welcome back to Hannah's Inner Healing Channel, the channel dedicated to your inner healing and mental health. Sorry, I've been away for about the last two months. I've uh, been doing a lot of um, just studies and just personal development. But today I'm back to talk about the effeminization of men, how men are becoming more feminine nowadays, more than masculine. And we're going to discuss factors that are causing this phenomena in our society today. And um, let me just introduce myself again. My name is Hannah Jerry. I have a background in sociology and politics. I have a master's in, uh, in, theolo in master's of divinity in theology. And I also am a certified trauma counselor. So welcome to the program. So today we want to see why some of the things that are happening in society today, especially the uh, feminization of men, where men are becoming more feminine, men are becoming, you know, like girlish, like, you even see in the society today where um, men are dressing clothes that look like, you know, they have flowers. The clothes look like they, they, they're just more feminine than masculine. And so we're going to discuss some of those things. Uh, I want to start with, a, you know, a story from the Bible. When God created man in the book of Genesis, in Genesis chapter 3, the serpent, who's the devil, who's the spirit that is, is the prince of the air that is deceiving the nations today, he came and approached the, the woman. He didn't approach the man. And that already was breaking God's order because in a family or in a society, the person who's supposed to be approached the first is the man because he's the head and then the woman. So he came and approached the woman, not the man, when the man was away. So already it was the way of Satan breaking the protocol of God or breaking the order of God. And uh, even what you're seeing in society right now through movies, through songs, you know, songs like people like Beyonce showing effeminate men, uh, songs by people like, um, like, like uh, you know, uh, Sam Smith. Some of these people are showing that men can be effeminate, showing men in, in makeup, showing men wearing dresses and earrings. And all these things is being just, you know, uh, the devil is trying to use the media to desensitize people or to make people feel like it's okay to, for men to be like that. And it's not okay for men to be like that because men were created to be manly and women were created to be, you know, women. So they, they are no, there's no gender which is better than the other, but they just have different roles. So men are not, we're not saying that men are superior or better than women, but no, men, create, men and women were created by God, but they have different roles. So you find nowadays, now the men, so there's this even notion of toxic masculinity. If you're masculine, you're, you, you know, the media shows you as being toxic. And now they are flooding the media and the movies with these effeminate men, men who are just, you know, fem feminine in character. And because of that, men, the society now you find men are not able to be men. In a family setup, a man was created to be the leader, the provider, and also the one who gives guidance, the priest in a home. The woman was created to nurture the home. The woman was created to bring balance to the home. The woman was created to, 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 to you know, bring nurture and bring, you know, um, the aspect of, of uh, you know, nurturing growth and, you know, just growing a family, helping a family to, to be stable. That was the role of a woman. A woman was not created to be in leadership at home. So what happened is the devil has come in and through groups like feminist, feminist movements and wanted to uh, usurp the, opposite, the position of the man so that now the woman, you find now the, it, the, the, there's a creation of the masculine woman and I'm going to talk about that in my next video. So now the men now and also other things that are contributing to this are brokenness in society where you find if the man was abused or sodomized as a child or maybe you find if the man maybe the two parents wanted a girl child and they got a boy so they started treating this boy as a child as a girl so the boy grows up with girlish characters girlish mentality feminine me mentality or you find now maybe a boy had a mother who was overbearing a mother who was very very overbearing in his life so the boy started you know uh, touching himself or um, affirming himself or maybe identifying with the female female in his life he didn't have a father figure or even of an overbearing father, it can also work the same, where if a man has an overbearing father, it, it emasculates this man whereby he starts now looking for male, male, affirm, uh, male, male affirmation. And as he's looking for male affirmation, he can even end up in, in, in homosexual relationships. And that's how you find homosexuality is growing in our society, even today. 
another thing also that you find that is bringing this notion of uh, the masculinization of a, a feminization of men you find that nowadays for you if you're the masculine type of man the media is trying to show you to show you that um these men who are masculine they are dangerous they are abusers you know so the man needs to be softer and feminine you see people like lebron james and other people from hollywood dressing putting up in skirts pink skirts these are men who are supposed to be men's men but they're now dressing in skirts so it's also created creating that concept that it's okay for a man to be effeminate and for a man to look like a woman or to talk like a woman or to dress like a woman so what we're trying to say is what i'm trying to say through this video is we need to counter this we need to cancel this society because that's not the order of god the order of god was that the man was the head and then the woman it was not the woman and the man and i'm not talking and when i talk about submission i don't mean that woman should be a doormat no in fact submission in the bible has been mis misconstrued and misunderstood by people because of culture when he talks about submission it means that both of you come together as equal but you have different roles the man is the head the man is the leader as the woman is the one now supporting the man and also nurturing the children to be everything that god has called them to be so because of that uh, confusion that now in the society you find now the women and nowadays you find there's this phenomenon where their single mothers want to raise children alone forgetting that these children go the reason why god created the family to 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 consist of a man and a woman it means that the child needs a father figure the child needs a mother figure I've done videos about uh, the effects of not having a father in either a girl or a boy's life. And please, you can check some of my YouTube videos, the ones I did in the past. And it will explain to you why both genders are needed by both parents are needed by the child. And so if you're a single mother, maybe the father refused the baby or you're a widow, please look for a male figure. It could be your pastor. It could be someone in your family. Look for a male figure who will be able to support and, and uh, be able to be the, feminine, the, the masculine figure in this child's life look for someone like that you can see also the rituals in hollywood right now hollywood is the devil's uh, paradise because for you maybe to go to the next level as a man you have sodomized or you find that there's a lot of sodomy being encouraged in in, in, in hollywood right now and it's not even a secret it's being shown all over the place and then also you find uh the where men are given roles to wear skirts that even if they are supposed to be in covers of Vogue nowadays, men are wearing skirts, men are being, even men, men who are not even maybe identify themselves as homosexual, they're dressing in dresses. And this is deliberate attempt to attack the, the masculinity of a society. And once the devil knows he has attacked the family, the society from the family level, now the society will not have balance. So you'll find now men acting like women, women acting like men, confusion in the society. And there's no order. You see, once God's order is out of the window, then now you invite the order, this fallen order of the serpent, the devil from the beginning he wanted the woman to take the place of a man just to destroy the society and god knows once a society starts identifying like that the society becomes corrupt where you find now children are into drugs where you find now children don't have an identity because if their own parents are wearing skirts if men are wearing skirts where will children have balance and have an identity in the society that we are living in today and it's for us to open our eyes and also boycott some of these videos boycott some of these songs that are encouraging these vices of men becoming effeminate you know boycott some of these songs by sam smith they are gross they are there to corrupt and pervert the human race as a christian i am just advising christian parents watch what your children are what your children are watching be careful what your children are being taught in schools because also homosexuality is being fostered in schools today so all these things are coming up like that in schools in the society in media all these things are coming up like that and so and also you know the spirit behind all this the feminization of man the masculinization of women is the jezebel spirit and i've talked about narcissism and the jezebel spirit so the jezebel spirit is the one that is in charge of or involved or the one that is is uh, is uh, promoting this uh, this 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 kind of uh, perversion in the society today so when you see your child is starting to behave like a woman and you're a man he's starting to behave like a woman and he's a man take him to prayer pray pray begin to pray because the battle is in the spirit realm pray seriously 
Pray without ceasing for your children. Teach your children. If you're a father, teach your children what it is to be a man. And those parents who are always busy out there doing many things, remember your first responsibility is to your family. If your child gets lost, if your child goes into homosexuality and is a man, it will be your blame because you never were there for them to observe them, to correct them, to affirm them as a father. As a father, if you're listening to this podcast, affirm your children, affirm your girls, affirm your boys. Teach your boys to be men encourage them to be masculine okay encourage them to be the the man that god describes the man to be the leader the protector of the society and so that's why the society right now is is disintegrating it at a very high rate because when these things are being fostered by the day in songs in all this and it's a ploy of the enemy because he's using some of these artists in the occult some of these artists like beyonce and others are witches performing rituals as their songs are rituals themselves so we need to come up and stand and say, no, not to this, enough is enough. If you are a minister watching this, encourage your congregation to, to, to affirm their children, encourage your congregation to check what your children are watching, encourage your congregation to nurture their children in the ways of God. So with that said and done, uh, the next video I want to do the masculinization of women. Thank you for watching.